Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Scarvelas and Heels. Today I'm really excited to share with you the next 10 items that you should buy from Japanese drugstores. If you have not watched part one of my video, I'll link it up above. For those of you who have been watching, you would know that I only share products which I've tried and tested. And these are products which I've really been loving and I managed to stock up on them in my recent trip to Japan. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first product to pick up is the Shiseido Sponge Cleanser. I always stock up on this when I go to Japan. I find that this is very effective in cleaning not just your makeup sponges, but your makeup brushes as well. So this costs about 5 to 6 US dollars, so it's really affordable and this goes a long way. You can't get it in regular Shiseido, so I've checked it in my local stores and when I'm traveling as well, you can't find this. You can only find this in Japan. If you look at other sponge cleansers that you can find in Sephora, they cost about $15, $20. So I find this to be a really affordable and effective option. The second item is definitely not conventional and that is the Mohi anti scalp Itch Lotion. So this is a clear lotion and this really works very well if you are having an itchy scalp especially when the weather is very humid and hot. This provides instant relief. It gives your scalp a minty feeling and it works almost immediately. This not only stops the itching, but it has a calming effect and it helps to reduce the inflammation on your scalp. How it works is it has a little applicator. You just have to dab it on your scalp and press it slightly for the lotion to come out. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of the packaging, it says class 2 drugs. So just for your information, all non-prescription drugs in Japan are split into three classes, class 1, class 2, class 3. Class 3 drugs are the lowest risk and class 2 drugs can only be sold in stores where there is a full-time working pharmacist or registered seller where they are able to explain how to use the drug on a best effort basis something to call out is that this contains a very very low level of steroids so if you're pregnant or trying to be pregnant do not use this I just want to pause here to talk about the jewelry items that I'm wearing. These items are from Maya Mina. They were sent to me, but all opinions are my own. So this necklace that I'm wearing, it is made of pearls. And I really love that it's not the traditional pearl necklace where you have standard size pearls all around because that can look very mature and traditional. I guess this is a little bit creative and fun. I really like that the pearls are not evenly shaped and they are staggered all around the necklace, which makes it for a more modern and sophisticated look. And what I love about the brand is that their items are really fun and modern at the same time, and you can choose to mix and match and layer them in any way that you want. So it really allows for self-expression. You can mix and match based on how you're feeling that day or your own personality. Um, these earrings are triangle earrings, and they have a hit of green inside. The material is really good. It's made up of premium sterling silver, it's also very skin friendly and non allergenic. I like that you can elevate an outfit almost immediately. This is the third piece of accessory that I picked out. I love these pair of earrings. I think this is my favorite piece. It looks really dainty. I love the gold heart detail with the pearls hanging down. For myself, when I'm wearing dangling earrings, I don't like pieces with the hook because I feel that it looks a little bit cheap. If I'm, if I'm wearing dangling earrings, I like the ones with the stud detail. So this one is perfect. It has the stud detail which makes it look a lot more expensive and classy. These make for perfect pieces for the upcoming festive season. I'll leave all the links and details of these pieces that I'm wearing down in the description box below, so feel free to check it out. Feel free to use my coupon code GORILLAS15, which will give you 15% off everything. The third product is the Quality First Sheet Mask. This mask won the Best Face Mask from the Cosme Awards in 2022, and I can see why. If you watched my first part of my drugstore video, I mentioned that I prefer Korean sheet masks because they're individually packaged, whereas Japanese sheet masks, there are a few of them packaged in one pack. This one has so much serum inside, and the different variations. Um, I bought the one with niacinamide. There's the one with also vitamin C. There's just so much product. The sheet mask feels very luxurious, so it's quite thick. I really find that there's a marked improvement in my skin when I use it before I sleep. I highly, highly recommend this. I would say that this is my number one favorite Japanese sheet mask, even better than the rice mask that I talked about in my previous video. 
The fourth item is the Michuku Whitening Eye Cream. How you can recognize it is this blue bottle with golden words on it. This is an award-winning eye cream and it's not hard to see why. The formula is really creamy but it doesn't clog up your skin. It contains placenta and collagen which really moisturizes the very thin area around your eyes. This is ranked number one on Cosme which is Japan's number one beauty review website. I don't just use this under my eyes but I like to use it on my laugh lines as well. This formula is perfect because it doesn't just work well at night, it also works really well in the morning before you layer on your makeup. So highly recommend this, I guarantee that you will love it. Item number six. This is my favorite and I wish I bought more. This is the Matsuki Yo Lab Collagen Jelly. As you know, collagen is responsible for the elasticity and structure of our skin. This collagen jelly is not just collagen, it's combined with vitamin C. And as you know, vitamin C is vital for collagen production. It makes the collagen a lot more effective in your body. And vitamin C is also a really good antioxidant. They work really well together to improve skin health, hair health, joints and just overall wellness. It comes in individual sachets like this. It's kind of like a jelly texture. It's very easy to eat. Um, the flavor that I bought is the one with the berries. You're supposed to take one every day and I think it makes for a very good afternoon snack when you're craving something but you don't really want to eat a lot. This is a good one to snack on. It comes in a packet of 33 sachets and each sachet contains 2550 mg of collagen inside. If I remember correctly, this whole box costs around $19 to $20. They have the liquid version as well, but I really like this jelly sachet because it's easy for you to bring it on the go and it's easy to consume. The next product to pick up is Japanese bathing towels. So these are towels that you use in the shower to scrub your body. And what I love about this is you only need to use a small pump of your body soap and you just have to scratch a towel to foam up the product and then you can use it to clean your body. The towel is very long so it helps you to scrub your back and it helps you to reach areas where it's typically hard to reach. I talked about how to choose products from the Japanese drugstore in my first video so if you have not watched that already click on that video and fast forward all the way to the last five to seven minutes where I'll share with you certain tips to look out for. There are different varieties of them, um, but this one, I really like it because the quality is very good. It's quite smooth, not too harsh on your skin when you're cleaning your body. The next product to get if you have enough luggage space and weight would be the Subaki Premium Moist and Repair Shampoo. So this big bottle costs about 7 to 8 US dollars. It has so many good ingredients. It has royal jelly, camellia oil, soya bean extract, all these very moisturizing and nutritious ingredients. I would highly recommend using this with the conditioner. I didn't pick up the conditioner this time because I ran out of luggage space. This really helps to moisturize your hair and to give your hair that shine. It's good for people with split ends or dry or damaged hair. I've read some reviews that have said you get salon quality hair with zero waiting time at the comforts of your own home. I also love the smell of this. It's quite fruity and floral but it's not too overpowering which is something that I do not like for my shampoos. Item number 8 is this Fever Cooling Gel Sheet. This is really good for those of you who have young children or babies, especially when they're running a temperature and you're not able to give them any sort of medication because they're too young. Just paste this gel sheet on their forehead. Each sheet lasts for about 8 hours and it has the ability to reduce temperature of up to 2 degrees Celsius. This also works very well when the weather is very hot. I've seen some parents paste these gel sheets on um, the baby's chest or the baby's cheeks. How I store it is that I put it in the refrigerator. The shelf life of the product is quite long. I bought this in 2023 and the expiry date is 2026. So you can actually store this for a couple of years. I know there are different variations of this in the market, but I always get this Japanese one. A big box like this costs about 5 to 6 US dollars in Japan. The next item is the Ryuka Kusan Throat Drops. And these are so good. It's really good if you're having a sore throat or if you're having hoarseness in your throat or just general dryness. 
Um, if you know me, I'm really prone to sore throats, especially when I travel or when I'm not getting enough sleep. So every time I go to Japan, I would pick this up from the drugstore. You can even get this from 7-Eleven or the Family Mart. So Rilakusan is a very traditional Japanese brand. The company was founded in 1871 and the brand has passed through eight generations in the family. They have combined their knowledge of Western medicine and their knowledge of traditional herbal medicine. So this candy, it doesn't taste bad, it just tastes very herbal. I find it to be very effective in treating mild sore throats. The last product is sort of related to the previous Ryukokusa drops and that's the vitamin C3000 lozenges. So this is vitamin C. This is non-sugared, it's lemon flavored and it contains 12 different types of herbs. So it has peppermint, sage, thyme, B1 and B2. I really like the flavor of this, it's not too sweet and I just use them interchangeably. So this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below on which are some of your favorite products. I'm really looking forward to do part 3 of this video where I will be sharing with you more items to check out in the Japanese drugstores. Thank you all again for watching. Have a great week ahead and see you all in my next one. Take care and goodbye.